My name's Emma Reynolds and I'm a children's author and illustrator from Manchester. I love making books about animals, nature and being kind. I illustrated this book called Rescue Mrs Birdly. It's a really funny book with lots of different animals in it. And this summer, the book I wrote and illustrated comes out called Amara and the Bats. It's all about a little girl who loves bats, but when she moves to a new town with her family, she's really upset to learn that there's no bats there anymore because they're losing their habitat. So she does some research and inspired by real life youth activists like Greta Thunberg and Tokata Iron Eyes, she rallies her friends and her community to save the bats. I wrote this book because there's hardly any books about bats and it's really important to have empathy for nature because we need each other. We need nature to survive and live as humans and nature needs us to protect it. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite bat facts. Bat facts. So the first one is, have you ever been bitten by a really itchy insect bite in the summer? Well, it would be even worse without bats. One bat can eat up to 3,000 midges and mosquitoes every night. So there are the world's natural bug repellent. And the second fact that is, if we didn't have bats, we would not have bananas. They are responsible for 70% of the tropical fruit that we eat because they pollinate the plants. And without bats, we wouldn't have them. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, you don't need much equipment to start doing your own illustrations. You basically need your favorite drawing tools and some paper. You can use a sketchbook, or sometimes I just like to draw on printer paper. So, if you're struggling to come up with some ideas, I find a really great way is to ask your friends to come up with a funny phrase or a description of a character, and then you can draw it. So I did this. And I asked my friends for some ideas and they said, uh, an old man with cats in his beard. So that's what I drew. Another thing you can do is draw your friends. Um, you can either use a photo or you can wave hello to them over the Zoom and draw each other's picture. Or you could draw your family or your pet. Or if you go out for your daily walk, you can draw nature, which I think is really inspiring. Some of my favourite kinds of books to read are comics and graphic novels. And I think the most important thing to remember is to read whatever you enjoy the most. And studies have shown that you're actually smarter if you read comics. Thank you so much for your time and it's so lovely to see you all today. And I hope you have a wonderful World Book Day. Bye!